All right, guys, you'll see this machine here has already ran a few parts. When the first part is completed, it's then pulled out and checked at a few critical dimensions. That could be something as simple as, uh, like for this instance, threading the fittings on to make sure they thread on correctly, uh, checking tolerances, or actually fitting it onto the part that it would go onto to make sure everything's correct. This one and done process, the robot head is gonna take apart, chuck it up in the lathe head. It's gonna go through its first operation. When it's time for the second operation, the robot arm will then move from one lathe head to the next lathe head inside of this machine. The tools will change and then it will run its second operation. So as this machine's running through its process, you'll notice no operators needed. It knows how to just do its thing as, as it's programmed. If something wants to go wrong during this process, there's some things that we track and tolerances we set that will shut the machines down. Or we have the option to send a, a text message to our machine operators. We also have a system in place that can be monitored from home or from here at work to watch what all the machines are doing at all times. Uh, some of those feedbacks we're looking at is how long it takes to make a part, or we can watch how much horsepower the motor is taking to operate on a certain tool. We'll know that maybe a tool had broken, or maybe some metal shavings that got wrapped up around a tool causing extra load. Either way, it's a signal that can get sent to one of our machinists. So having this data exchange system in place, allows these machines to run unattended even when no one's in the entire building. So as long as there's parts and trays and bread carts here for this robot to run, it's gonna run through every single piece. That allows us to set these things up heavy with load Friday night when we go home and then Monday morning when we come back into work, they're all done, ready to go. After the last part has been completed, the machine will shut down automatically. Once the machine shut down, one of our machinists will be notified via text message or it could be an email. Uh, he'll then come over, check the last part, make sure it's identical to the first part, taking those same measurements, whether it's a critical dimension on that part or it's test fitting one of the pieces and components. Once everything's approved there, we know all the parts in between are good. Uh, these parts can then be brought into a polishing area. Uh, but before we go there, let's go to one of our milling operations. It's gonna be a little bit different setup than the two lathing operations we've already showed you. 